Storytime at Home, presented by the Cincinnati and Hamilton County Public Library. Hello, I'm Keith. I work down here at the main library, and today for Storytime, I'm going to read The Wolf's Chicken Stew by Kiko Kaza. There once lived a wolf who loved to eat more than anything else in the world. As soon as he finished one meal, he began to think of the next. One day, the wolf got a terrible craving for chicken stew. All day long, he walked across the forest in search of delicious chicken. Finally, he spotted one. Ah, she's just perfect for my stew, he thought. The wolf crept closer, but as he was about to grab his prey, he had another idea. If there's just some way to fatten this bird up a little more, he thought, there'd be all the more stew for me. So, the wolf ran home to his kitchen and he began to cook. He's got all of the utensils and everything. First, he made a hundred scrumptious pancakes. Then, late at night, he left them on the chicken's porch. Eat well, my pretty chicken, he cried. Get nice and fat for my stew. The next night, he brought a hundred scrumptious donuts. Eat well, my pretty chicken. Get nice and fat for my stew. And on the next night, he brought a scrumptious cake weighing a hundred pounds. Eat well, my pretty chicken. Get nice and fat for my stew. At last, all was ready. There was the night he had been waiting for. He put a large stew pot on the fire and set out joyfully to find his dinner. That chicken must be as fat as a balloon by now he thought. Let's see. But as he peeked into the chicken's house, the door suddenly opened and the chicken screeched, oh, it was you, Mr. Wolf. Children, children, look, the pancakes and the donuts and that scrumptious cake, they weren't from Santa Claus. Those were presents from Uncle Wolf. I love the look on Uncle Wolf. He looks a little bit embarrassed. The baby's chicks jumped all over the wolf and gave him a hundred kisses. Oh, thank you, Uncle Wolf. You're the best cook in the world. I think there's about a hundred chicks there. Uncle Wolf didn't have chicken stew that night, but Mrs. Chicken fixed him a nice dinner anyway. Aw, oh, shucks, he thought as he walked home. Maybe tomorrow I'll bake the little critters a hundred scrumptious cookies. And that looks like what he did. The end. All right, the wolf made lots of things. You could go out and think about something that you could make. I'll see you next time for another story time. Bye-bye. Get free books in the mail. Sign up today. Go to Ohio Imagination Library. Oh, all G to find out more.